Hi Special Agents, Mrs G back again with some more maths reasoning practice. This video is all about word problems. Now word problems are um, sentences that have a number calculation in them. And some of them are really um, simple. Once you know what they want you to do, they want you to do one job to get the answer. So the first few are going to be those type. Then they do get a little bit more tricky for those of you like a maths challenge. And we have to do a few things before we get the answer. As always... Try and have a go and work out if you can see what I understand what, what I'm saying. And then just listen to the bits that seem a bit tricky. You never know until you give things a go. Okay, so top tip. Always read the question all the way through before you decide what to do. There are 20 balloons. Seven balloons fly away. How many balloons are left? So we're starting with 20 balloons and seven balloons go away. So I think that is asking us to do 20 take away seven. Now we want to subtract, we're going to count back. Seven fingers up, let's count backwards from 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Well done if you used your number bonds and didn't count back there. Well done if you know that 7 add 3 makes 10, 10, 10. So 7 add 13 makes 20. Well done if you did it that way. Number 16. A shopkeeper has 20 fish and 5 fish bowls. And that's what they are pictures of. He puts the same number of fish in each bowl. How many fish go in each bowl? So he's got 20 fish and 5 bowls. And he's sharing them between the 5 bowls. So this is 20 divided by 5. Now if you know the answer to 20 divided by 5. And you can start with no fingers up and counting 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20. And you know the answer is 4. You don't need to do anything in the fish bowls, okay? But if in doubt, draw it out. So if you want to share 20 between the five by drawing dots, we can share the fish. We've done this lots of times, haven't we, special agents? So let's get dividing, let's get sharing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh I should have done it in order, 19, 20, we've got to share equally haven't we, and they are, there is 1, 2, 3, 4 fish in one bowl, because 20 divided by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20 is 4, okay, there are 29 children in a class, Five children are painting. How many children are not painting? So if there's 29 children and five go away to paint, is that 29 add five or 29 take away five? That's it, 29 take away five. And if you want to circle the numbers in a number sentence, that will help you too. What's 29 take away five? Five fingers up and let's count back to subtract. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24 children. Well done. Number 12. AJ's plant was 11 centimetres tall. It grows 7 centimetres taller. How tall is the plant now? So if it's getting taller, bigger, are we adding 7 centimetres or taking it away? That's right, I think it's an add two. 11, add seven. Seven fingers up, let's get adding. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, well done. Number seven, Abdul. I have nine shells. Abdul has nine shells. Amy, I have three more shells than Abdul. How many shells does Amy have? So Amy has nine and three more. Is that adding three or taking away three? That's right, we need to do nine, add three to get the answer to how many shells Amy has. Nine, 10, 11, 12, well done. Number 21, AJ, Sam and Kemi have four conkers each. How many conkers do they have all together? And all together wants us to add. Whenever we see all together, that is asking us to add. So we've got AJ has got four, Sam's got four, so four, add four. Kemi has another four, add four. We need to do four, add four, add four. Now we know how to add three numbers. Look for doubles, double four is eight, and add the four, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 12 conquers. And you clever people amongst you will know that 4 add 4 add 4 is the same as 4 times 3. Okay, 12 conquers all together. Now the numbers get bigger and you might have to take away the tens from the whole number you start with and then take away the ones to work the answer out, okay? You can do a little bit of jotting and show you working out if that helps you. Ben has 63 beads. He gives 37 beads away. How many beads does Ben have left? So we're having a go at 63 take away 37. Now we can do six tens take away three tens, that makes mathematical sense, but we can't do three take away seven. You can't take a small number from a bigger number, so we're going to have to break it down. We're going to have to do 63 take away the 31st, so take away the tens first, 63, 53, 43, 33. Then we need to take the ones from the second number, and we've got seven ones, so we need to do 33 take away seven. Seven fingers up, count back to subtract. 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. Well done. Okay, here come the more complicated word problems. Have a listen, see what parts fit you understand, and don't worry, year two, I'm here to help you. Okay, so first thing you will notice, it's got a box at the bottom of the question, and it says, show your working out. This means that you've probably got more than one thing to do to work the answer out. We want to see how you got the answer. You might even get extra marks on the special agent tests if you do this, so you might, you need to show the working out. Use the boxes, that's what it's there for. So, let's read the whole thing first. There are 100 grams of chocolate chips in the bag. C to use is 25 grams. Ben uses 35 grams. How many grams of cho chocolate chips are left in the bag? So we need to work out how many chocolate chips are used all together. So we need to do 25 add 35, okay, because that's what has been used. So 25 add 35, or well 25 add 5 is 30, 30 add 30 is 30, 40, 50, 60, okay, and then we've got the second part to do to actually answer the question, how many grams of chocolate chips are left in the bag? Well, we started with 100, we need to do 100 take away 60. Now, I wouldn't expect to count back here, I'd expect to use your number bond knowledge to help you. So we know that 6 add 4 makes 10, 10, 10, so 60 add 40 makes 1. You will get two marks for this question if you show me how you work that out. Well done. Number 32. Ben has 90 pence. He buys two tickets. Each ticket costs 35p. How much money does Ben have left? And we've got a working out box again, so which means we've got to work out the cost of the tickets and then take that away to work out how much money Ben's got left. So we've got two tickets, both cost 35p. So we need to work out what 35 add 35 is first. So 30 add 30 is 60, 5 add 5 is 10, 60 add 10 is 70. So double 35 is 70, so the two tickets cost 70 pence. So how much money does he have left? So we need to do the money that he started with, which is the biggest number in the sum, have to take away from the biggest number. We need to do 90p, take away 70p. And those numbers are really close together, so I'm going to count up from 70 till I get to 19, 10, 70, 80, 90. I would have 20 pence left. And you can get a mark if your working out is correct, even if you get the answer wrong. So it's always good to have a go. Do what you think you should do. You never know until you try what you can do. Give it a try. Okay, number 19. Ben and C to count cars. Ben counts 38 red cars. C to counts 23 blue cars. How many how many cars do they count all together? All together means add. So we need to do 38 add 23. So I would do 30 add 20 is 50. And then I would do 8 add 3 is 11. Then I need to add them together. Well, 5 add 1 tens gives me 6 tens. 0 add 1 ones gives me 1 ones. 
okay now you could have done that in your head you could have done 38 add 20s 38 48 58 58 add 3 58 59 60 61 okay well done last question and it's a there's a working out box so we've probably got a lot to do there are 55 cakes 20 boys and 19 girls each take a cake how many cakes are left so we've started with 55 cakes 20 boys take some cakes so let's work out how many cakes are left after the boys have taken theirs. 55 take away 20, 55, 45, 35. And then the girls take 19 from what's left. So we need, we've got 35 cakes left. We need to do 35 take away 19. Now the quickest way to do that is to round up. 19 is very close to 20. So I would do, because it's quicker and easier, I would do 35 take away 20 is 35, 25, 15. But I only meant to take 19 away, so I can add one back. 15 add one is 16. Now if that way doesn't make sense to you, 35 take away 19, you can still do 35 take away 10 is 25. 25 take away 9, 9 fingers up. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16. You will still get the answer 16. Thanks for listening, guys. Leave me a like if you're tuning in next time. Don't let anyone know what you've learned here for special agent size only. Bye for now.